All right, hey, this is Chris with Numa Coffee Roasters, and we have a Spaziali here, the La Spaziali, the S1. This is the Mini Vivaldi version of this machine. And so I want to show you a little bit today about how to back flush um, your group head to clean this out. And typically, for most of you using this machine, that is probably a weekly task, something you want to get in the habit of doing once a week or once every two weeks at the most. Um, no, let's stick with weekly. Yeah, that's going to be better. Um, unless you've got a period of time where the machine is just not being used much. Um, so basically what we want to do is take out the portafilter and you should have this uh, blank insert. This is a little rubber insert to your portafilter that basically covers up the, the screen holes so no water can flow through. So this will be used to, um, to push your brew button and and just let pressure and water build up. So right now the group, the portafilter is filling up with water. We'll let that go for a few seconds and then take it out, dump that a little bit. That's back flushing the machine. Now what we do is use uh, this Kafitza or PuroCap Ernex, one of those things. Um, and I have this three-in-one tool, this handy little cleaning brush. And if you need one of these brushes, let us know. We can ship one to you. Um, it has a nice little scoop on the end, so you get just the right amount of the cleanser. Just put it in the portafilter um, after you've put your blank insert in there. And now engage the portafilter, tighten it, and hit your brew button. We're just gonna let that go for a few seconds and then stop and you'll hear the pressure release on that. Now I'm just gonna do that again. And so what's happening is that sending some of the, um, the powder, the cleanser, up into the group head and into the assembly where it's going to clean everything out. And so we just did that a few times, three or four times maybe. Now you'll notice on your pressure gauge here when that, start, that needle starts to get into the red area, um, you don't want to leave it there too long. I'm going to do this one more time. And now take out the portafilter. Remove your rubber insert. And then I hit the brew button again. I'm just going to let some more water flow through this to clean it out. And now you've back flushed your group head, your machine, and cleaned out a lot of those residual coffee oils, the particles and things that kind of get rancid and start affecting the flavor of the shots. So it's good to clean this out and do this about once a week. And be sure after you, after you back flush it with the powder that the very next shot that you pull is one that you just want to throw out. Just dump it down the drain. It's going to have some residual chemical taste in there. And so always pull one test shot and just throw that one out uh, before you start uh, serving shots again out of the machine. But that's how to clean the machine, how to back flush your portafilter and the group gasket. So any questions, uh, email, call us, let us know. Look us up, numacoffee.com. Um, hope you're brewing well.